sorry I'm so late. <laughs> Obero dono. Genosuke sama. What is it, Oborodono? Tell me what's wrong. Please forgive me. Ever since Grandmother left for Sunpu, I've been so worried. I fear the worst has come. I couldn't bear it if we never saw each other again. I would rather die. <laughs> Let's try not to worry about things that are out of our control. Our happiness lies within ourselves, in the way we feel for each other. No one can take that away from us. The long-standing feud between our families has been put to rest. The Koga and Iga are bound by the No Hostilities Pact. You have little to fear in the way of war. <laughs> I too had my doubts when Lord Yasu requested a demonstration of each clan's ninja techniques. But when I heard Hattori Hanzodono would be there, all worries dissipated. You knew he was there, didn't you? Yes. Of course I did. Fate has given our families the opportunity to step into the light and establish lasting peace. I believe this is Hanzo Dono's intent in calling our elders to meet with Yasu. My grandfather was convinced of this as well when he set off for Sunpu. I feel so foolish. My weakness got the best of me. I don't know what I'd do if a war ever broke out. I was born into a ninja clan and yet I've never mastered any of the martial arts. Isn't that pitiful? No, there's nothing wrong with that. The arts are for defense, not for war. Yes, but it's a shameful thing for a ninja. Especially when your grandmother happens to be the elder and leader of the tribe. Grandmother tried so hard to train me, but I still managed to let her down. I guess I'm just a hopeless case. You just weren't suited for it, Aborodono. Besides, I believe the day will soon come when the Koga and Iga will finally live in harmony, and ninja skills, and even war itself will be forgotten. <laughs> Genosuke-sama? Yes? What could have caused Koga and Ige to bear such hatred for 400 years? I don't know. And perhaps there is no answer. But instead of being mired in the past, we should look to the future. Our future. We must ask my grandfather and Ogandono to set a date for our wedding. We will. We'll ask them the moment they return. here. Mmm. Hawk with a scroll. News traveling that quickly must be important. Mm-hmm. Looks official. <laughs> Who did that? Who's there? You have no claim on that scroll, Udono. Hand it over to me. Well, if it isn't Azuki Rusai, you never know you'll meet out here these days. Who'd you kill to get such lavish clothes, old man? Lavish? And I thought this was a modest choice. Now hand it over. That hawk belongs to Ogensama. It was transporting a scroll. Now even a man of your intelligence can figure out that the scroll belongs to Ogensama as well. Oh? Perhaps I'm not being clear enough. That scroll was intended for Ogen, which means it's off limits to the Koga. Oh really? Let's read it. I'll bet it contains a message from Sunpu Castle. 
Well, I'm curious. Aren't you? A message straight from Sun Tzu? Oh, no, no! Calm down, Drusire. You're sure to break a blood vessel. Let's be civil. You know as well as I do that we're bound by the pact made with the Hattori. And besides, Ginnisuke-sama and Noboro-sama are engaged to be married, and soon we'll all be a happy family. So if you insist on battling for this, let's do it for sport. Even in sport, death is certain. Are you so dense as to think otherwise? No worries here. Just a friendly contest. We'll see who's better. Me or you. The Koga or the Iga? Come on, old man. Let me show you what Koga means. I'm going to teach you Rotten Koga all about the humiliation of defeat. And we'll see about that damn wedding! Peace with the Koga makes me sick! Ah! Ah! Mm, that's cheap damn balloon technique. Get down here, you spineless abomination! You think I'm afraid of you? <laughs> Sama had to have gained control of the Iga scroll by now. Soon this ninja war will be over, and death will come quick in the night, long before they've even found out it's begun. Donjo Sama's star has met grave misfortune. I fear we are in danger. The stars have more to tell us. A dark shadow over Kazamachi. Don't worry. I'll find them and bring them back. No, I'll go myself. So, as long as we know the truth, that's all that matters. Besides, you seem like you needed the rest. You haven't been sleeping too well lately, have you? No. We'd better be leaving now. I'm sure your people are getting worried. Let's get you back home. We can't go. We never even... We'll save it for our next meeting. Sometimes rest is more important. 
You're right. We should get back. What's wrong? Are you okay? I'm fine. I just can't keep up. You're walking just a little too fast for me. Oprodono, I'm sorry. Don't worry. The same thing happened the other day. My mind starts to wander and I don't realize how fast I'm going. Truly, it's nothing. I'll try to keep up. Oprodono, please, take my hand. That way we won't become separated. Forgive me for being so careless. I think too much. I get so absorbed that I forget where I am. You understand? Yes. Kinosuke-sama. What is it? Oboro-sama, thank goodness you're safe. Akaginyu, what are you doing here? You shouldn't be alone in a place like this. It's too dangerous. Ogunsama would never approve. I wasn't alone. I promise I've been in good company. Nenki? We were getting worried because you are late returning home. So we just decided to form a little search party. Hotorubi, you came as well? I beg your pardon. I understand your concern for Oborodono. We're glad you're safe, but you left us no choice. What were you thinking staying out the whole night like that? I'm sorry, Akaginyu. But there's nothing to be worried about when I'm with Genosuke-sama. Oh no? Jinguro? Is the whole village here? Ogun-sama still has not returned from Sunpu. Until she does, you're our leader. Perhaps you should bear this fact in mind and behave accordingly. No, I am the one to blame. Please forgive me. I will not let it happen again. No, please. By the way, Oborosama, did you happen to see Rusai anywhere since you've been out? He left Subagakure to check on something he spotted in the sky. He's been gone ever since. No, I haven't seen Rusai. Chosuke, what are you doing here? Genetsuke <laughs> ah! sama have Oboro-sama look the other way! Please! I don't want her to look at me! What's the matter with him? Is he... He's in fear of your gaze, Oborodono. It's your mystic eye. He knows that you mean him no harm, but the effect of your eyes is still the same. You have the power to break any ninja hold or technique simply by looking into the eyes of your attacker. It is a very special gift, your power. He has a scroll with him that belongs to us! He stole it! Uh. It's Ogunsama's scroll from Sun Pu! Is this true, Udono? Speak plainly. Well, sort of. I didn't take it, a bird dropped it, and then we decided to duel for it. What? Uh. Oh no! We just did it for sport! It wasn't serious! You fool! Skate Sama, please forgive me. I didn't mean any harm. <laughs> Here, Oborodono. See what it says. No! Get back! That scroll belongs to the Iga. Don't open it in front of him. Jinguro, why not? He's to be my husband. That may be so, Oboro, but he is still a Koga. If we allow a Koga to read Ogunsama's scroll, then we have failed in our duty to protect the Iga in her absence. Enough! You know that we plan to marry. Yes, but there hasn't been a formal announcement yet, has there? No, there hasn't been. Not yet, anyway. Who do you think you're talking to? Ginnisuke-sama is the heir to the Koga Manjadani. This is a grave insult. Piss on your eager scroll. We are... Ginnisuke-sama, I, I was just trying to... Start a fight? We've had plenty of that. 
Come, Udono. Let's go. My love, don't leave. Look, see what you've done. Take it. <clears throat> Genosuke sama, Udono sama, wait. Please forgive their ill temper. I don't blame them. <laughs> this river of animosity between our two clans has been flowing for centuries. We can't expect to change its course in a single day. Tempers are bound to flare, but we must remain calm and patient and set the example we want others to follow. I did the exact opposite. You must think I'm so weak. I even threw the scroll. You told me earlier you aren't suited to the martial arts and that you lack ability. But that throw you made was right on target. <laughs> what is it? What did Grandmother say? What's so funny? Oh, everything is just fine, Oboro-sama. The news is very good indeed. Lasting peace was negotiated between the clans at Sunpu. Your Grandmother and Danjo-sama are taking in the sights at Edo at this very moment. Wonderful! It sounds too good to be true. Uh. Huh? Forgive us for being so rude. We were obliged to remain guarded until we received word from Sun Pu. I understand completely. Well, why don't you come with us? What better way to announce peace than for Koga's heir to visit Subagakure? That's an excellent idea, Nenki, of course. It did mean so much, Genesuke-sama. Will you please come? Very well. How could I say no? That's <laughs> right. What? Hey, you shouldn't go, Genesuke. You haven't heard from Danjo-sama. It's not safe. It's not? <laughs> you can come and look after Genesuke-sama just to be safe. Hmm? Y yeah well, I guess I could. Why not? We'll celebrate. Drink sake. Do some dancing. We'll meet you at the village. We're going to do some hunting for the feast. Take good care of our honored guest, Sakaginyu. I will. You know me, I aim to please. Oh, the Ruby. We must inform Tenzin. Yes, I understand. Ogensama is dead. It appears Koga Danjo is also dead. They must have killed each other. That's probably how they wanted it. Tenzin Sama. I don't understand. <laughs> That's because you are still too young, Koshiro. <laughs> Finally, it has been broken. Since the Tensho era, the No Hostilities Pact has tied the hands of the Iga and Koga. But now, our hands are free.